Hi, this is Code Practices with InfoPulse Experts. Today, I want to talk about events in Playwright. There are a few ways of handling them, I will talk about those I am using. The first, methods on and once. Most probably you will use them for the page or the browser context. Event handling is straightforward. Put the event name and the event handler method, and whenever the event happens, the handler method will be executed. Method on allows you to handle all events while the page is open. Method once will handle the first event that happened. I typically use the method on to catch all events and handle console messages to track errors. The coffee cart generates errors if a query parameter is in the URL. Let's log all error messages to review later. I am adding a logger to the base page class so I can reuse it later. Now the test will cause the error. Here we are. The second, use expect context managers. For example, using expect response to wait until the browser receives a specific Ajax response. Or expect pop-up to handle cases when user actions cause the opening of the second page. Let's click on the link with the mouse wheel to open a new page and deal with it. I am using assert here because there is no such method for the expect function. The third, a very new option, method add locator handler. Note that this method is experimental, and its behavior may change in the upcoming releases. It allows handling elements that appear unexpectedly on the screen. You might remember that every third added cup causes an extra cup offer. Let's decline all such offers by clicking the knob button to focus on other features. The handler function does not have any arguments, so we can define it right in the test method if we need it. Let's add 10 espresso cups and check that we pay only for them. The fourth, specify the event awaited during navigation. Playwright is awesome in navigation by default, but if you want to ensure that all Ajax requests are loaded, you might add the wait until option. Network idle means navigation will be done, only when a browser doesn't have any network activities for half a second. The fifth is the locator's method wait for. We can wait for the element to be present or removed from the DOM, or to be visible or hidden. Let's add coffee to the cart three times. Wait for the knob button. Click on it. Wait until the button disappears and check the button is not visible. The tests created today are not so pretty, and I want you to prettify this code for the page objects. It is your homework. That's it for today. This feature is so simple and so powerful. Good luck and have fun using it. Thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button so as not to miss new episodes. Also, your likes and comments are welcome and appreciated. Be safe and support Ukraine.